Today we'll be discussing how olanzapine actually affects serotonin and dopamine, which are two neurotransmitters in the brain. So there are two receptors that are affected. With dopamine, it is the D2 receptor. And with serotonin, it is the 5-HT2A receptor. So basically what happens in the brain with the lanzapine is that these two receptors are blocked by the lanzapine. And what the drug is doing is it's reducing, obviously, the levels of dopamine and serotonin. Olanzapine blocks dopamine D2 receptors in the brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter involved in regulating mood, reward, and motor control. By blocking D2 receptors, olanzapine reduces the effects of dopamine, which can help manage symptoms of psychosis. Olanzapine also has a high affinity for serotonin 5H2A receptors and blocks them. Serotonin is also a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in mood, anxiety, and sleep. And with the uh, serotonin receptor, uh, when that's blocked, it actually enhances the therapeutic quality of the dopamine blockage. So another interesting point is that as these receptors are blocked, what can happen is that the brain will actually produce more of these receptors. So if someone stops taking olanzapine, it can be quite an abrupt thing to do, even if it is a slow taper off, even if it's done in a controlled environment, it can be quite abrupt. And the reason it can be quite abrupt is because the levels of dopamine and serotonin have been uh, so heightened or have surged, if you like. Without a lanzapine, it can be quite a distressing thing to experience because those neurotransmitters of dopamine and serotonin have been so elevated that getting back to normal can be quite a challenge. And well, I truly believe that's what happened to me is when I stopped taking olanzapine, this, the, uh, because those neurotransmitters had been uh, so heightened and I probably my brain did create more of those serotonin dopamine receptors that when I stopped taking it, I, I had quite a hard, hard time doing it. And it would seem that it caused rebound symptoms. So it caused rebound anxiety, rebound dissociation, rebound depression so quite an unfortunate thing as as you know from the previous videos i never should have been prescribed the lansbane it was a grave grave error on the part of my consultant former consultant psychiatrist i, I never presented with psychosis and i was never given a diagnosis of anything so i hope this was an eye-opener if you um, have searched for a landscape withdrawal and it's brought you here, I, I hope this has been of use. But please remember to, uh, before you do anything, please do check with your mental health professional, your doctor or whoever has prescribed a landscape for you. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please do drop a comment. I do respond to every comment. Uh, thanks again for watching and catch you on the next one.